So again, you mentioned there was a lot of issues before. So EPCOR was named the interim manager a few years back to help provide water to customers in Santan with issues with Johnson Utilities. And since then, the company has worked to make improvements and recently opened up a new wastewater facility, providing billions of gallons of water to customers in Santan. This is a manhole cover out front of our house pouring raw sewage. It was back in 2016. Dozens of people living in Santan Valley were left in a pretty bad situation with raw sewage spewing into the streets, low water pressure, and extremely high utility bills. It was sewage coming out of the pipelines and into the streets, into the communities, the parks that uh, the kids play in and that sort of thing. Johnson Utilities was at the center of this chaos. And in 2018, the Arizona Corporation Commission appointed EPCOR Utilities to take over. So the utility was in pretty rough shape. Since then, Jacob Rogers with EPCOR says the company has been working to pick up the pieces. And just last year, they finally turned on their wastewater plant for Santan customers. So we treat uh, sewage from the surrounding areas. Uh, this plant's capable of treating about 3 million gallons per day. This wastewater is turned into reusable water for nearly 160,000 homes across Santan. I think responsible wastewater treatment is critical in, uh, in, in the long-term sustainable use of water. Jacob says that wastewater comes in through these pipes and any garbage in the sewer is separated. The water then goes to a reactor where thousands and thousands of microorganisms are put in the water and take out all the fertilizer to make it clean. The water is then put into this presser where it squeezes out any dirt, making these clay balls. Then the water is run through bleach into these recharge stations and back into the ground aquifer. Recharging that aquifer allows us to, to earn credits uh, that, that we can then use to build homes in the community. And since the facility opened up last year in February, it has cleaned 26 billion gallons of water. Now they do have plans to eventually expand that facility in order to meet the area's growing need. Jamie. Michaela, thank you for that.